One's Carly Van Cleve was on the scene when things began to take a turn for the worse. Carly, what can you tell us? Yeah, Ariel, I want to walk you through a timeline of what we witnessed today. We arrived to document the peaceful protest at 4 p.m. and it started with speeches, prayers, and a list of demands. A peaceful but determined crowd gathered for a third day of planned protests in front of the Allen County Courthouse and a list of four demands, including dropping charges against nonviolent protesters, banning chokeholds, and establishing a citizens review board elected by Fort Wayne residents. We requested these changes. Now we're demanding these changes. Then we're gonna take it to the next level. We're gonna stand on the doorsteps. We're gonna go to city council. We're gonna do all these things until we heard. And then not just heard, Things are changed. Organizers who planned the speeches stressed Friday through Sunday they wanted the event to stay peaceful. I say keep it peaceful, let them attack, and then it's whatever. This is what the scene looked like until about six, when a large portion of the crowd moved from the courthouse marching down Clinton Street. We witnessed organizers asking people to remain peaceful. But by 6.30, several protesters blocked off Clinton near Science Central. Police arrived but kept a distance, and the crowd moved back to the courthouse. Here, several people moved fencing into the middle of Clinton to block off the street, and that's when police moved in. We saw protesters run, while others took shelter by the Anthony Wayne statue. For about the next hour, Police warned the remaining few people in the streets to leave or face arrest. Police say six people were arrested tonight on multiple charges, and the area was cleared by around 8 p.m. Definitely a tense night. Luckily, everybody was safe down there, right, Carly? Yeah, definitely. All right, thanks.